Okay, welcome back to Sanity Maintenance. Today I figured I'd at least go over the magnetic starter that we installed on it and how we wired it up and et cetera, et cetera, including the model number and everything where we got compressive sources. So uh, that's the first thing I got hammered on uh, when I released the video, so I figured I'd at least try to cover it anyway. So anybody needing to know, please don't know. Uh, I will say if you're not an electrician, you may want to consult one that wired up like it's supposed to be. So uh, we'll get right into the video. Here's the motor starter, the magnetic starter that we picked up from CompressorSources.com is where the website is, CompressorSource.com and the motor starter is the P30TX uh, This name right here, good luck if you can pronounce it, I surely can but uh, it seems to be a pretty good, nice little starter here for it <clears throat> Taking a look at uh, what we got going on here I'm going to get some light in here, some kind of way here uh, Wiring coming in here, I tried to label them here as the power here, where it comes in here. Power is going to 1L1 here, and the other power lead going to 5L3 here. And the ground coming off of it is going down here to the side, which we just made a screw to stick in the back of the box. We can ground everything together at once. All right. And coming power coming from the going to the motor is down here. This is my motor side here, here, and here, and I also have it grounded here. That wire goes all the way up to here, okay? All right, that's going to the motor, okay? You also have a selection on selecting what amps you're having it to start up at. I think we have ours, I'd say right around the 23 or 24 area right there. So you can actually dial that in however you want it. And getting to the switch itself here, Right here there are actually side by side here one here and one down below it there <coughs> here uh, I would say if you're just replacing uh, putting the switch in after burning your contactors up you might want to try to find a good side of it uh, this side here or either this side here do the same thing whether here or there or either here or there as long as it makes contact you'd be pretty good I'm sure or if you're not really sure you could probably run one wire from here going to here having it solid from there to there or even the back to there to there so you're guaranteed kind of a connection but uh that's that's just me thinking you know out loud there sorry but uh all right getting into where the switch comes in <clears throat> back here in the back we see this s here switch coming in it's going back here to the yellow wire here uh he shows how to hook this up on the video from compressor source and it can also go here or it can go down here on this side here on the very bottom there with that one wire there the yellow wire but either, either way it goes from here to here all right the other one switch here let's see where to go oh, it's right here it comes in here it just ma matches right up to the power here together there they're actually hooked together there have fun hooking these up it's kind of tough getting two big cables in there like that is but uh, you got a kind of an ideal there of what's going on. And my switch ground here, which I did run a ground to it, coming all the way down here and back over to the rest of the grounds here on there. All right. Give you kind of a look at what's going on here, what it looks like. Kind of a short video, but. Give you kind of an idea what everything looks like here. I don't know if I'd recommend going one from here to here, but you know they are one as long as they make contact, they make contact. As far as having a wire, the same wire running from here to here, you know, in case uh 
This one may be burnt up or whatever. You still get contact off of this one here. If you understand what I'm saying. Just give you kind of an idea what everything looks like. And these uh, these are pretty burnt up. I did take and polish them up the best way I could. That one looks okay. I think this one here was kind of burnt up. You see we're kind of nasty there on the inside. Okay, I will add in before somebody asks. I see this wire here cut off. That's because I picked up 10-4 instead of 10-3. That's all they had was 10-4. So it actually came with four wires, and I just cut it off to use it like that and have the three wires. <clears throat> Still about the same price. You see here where I cut the other one off down here at the bottom there. So I used 10-4, uh, just cut the fourth wire out when it come out. Okay, like I said before, you know, if you're don't not very good with wiring, it's always best to hire an electrician or... Or know somebody who is an electrician <clears throat> excuse me when we were hooking the system in I have a really good friend Brian and uh, he's an electrician been an electrician all his life so it was kind of easy for me to pick up the phone and call a couple times you know hey can I run this amount of wire can I do this can I do this can I not do this and generally everything that I want to do he said no you can't do so I had to go back by his specs and it keeps me kind of free and clear of getting in trouble especially burning my shop down Hope the video was helpful. It's kind of a short video. Give you kind of an idea of what's going on here. Uh, there isn't a whole lot of videos out there like that when people start showing you stuff like this. But if you got a quince here or, or uh, another compressor you're having issues with, you're burning the switches up, this is this is by far the easiest way to take and you know straighten that out. If you get your contactors kind of cleaned up, you know, and then install the switch, you know, it, it'll last a long time. But if your contactors go bad, bad burn up, you know, you're going to have to replace this and then add the switch as well. I was able to actually clean mine up, polish them out, then add the switch. Uh, actually, if I did want to replace the switch, the switch is around $100, and this ran me right at around, uh, I think it was about $75, somewhere around there, $69, $75. So this was actually cheaper than the switch that they sell to actually put on the air compressor. So it's... it's it's simple, guys. But uh, have a good night. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up.